Oh, I that crab here. Again. Yeah, now it's happened. My um, old um, scratch nest solution has now finally died. Done. Ah, it's the it's gone through so many summers, but um, you know this. Uh, it's been quite hot here lately. It's uh, been uh, close to 30 Celsius. Um, and probably where this has been sitting, it's probably been 35 some days. So I think now it's just that it's failed. Some way, uh, I mean, I was being, I was getting prepared for it to fail totally, so this was just being used as a scratch, scratch drive anyway. So I don't think there's any point in spending any more time trying to get this up and running. So um, I um, went out and picked up a, a new box that I thought we could just run through the unboxing of in this video. So anyway, here it is. It's a Zook cell home storage unit. Um, what do they call it? NAS 542. And um, it's got um, four hard drive locations. Can support um, three and a half and two and a half drive, uh, drives, SSDs, or whatever. All the different types of modern drives. And um, yeah, so quite a list of basic functions. <sighs> File sharing, yeah, yeah. Now oh, that would be interesting. Cloud right, RAID protection is nice to have. And then, um, I didn't have it. It has DLNA server in it, but it wasn't listed in this list here. Hmm, strange. Oh. I'll probably find out. Oh yeah, this is gonna be this is gonna be interesting to see what this looks like. Some network cables. Oh, that's fine. And we have the instruction manual. And, we, and always these units seem to nowadays they come with a separate power brick, and I'm very grateful for that because if the power supply ever gives up, then you have actually some kind of chance of replacement, finding a replacement unit. You know. And this comes without any disc, so it's discless when it's delivered. So I'm going to um, reuse some of the discs that I had in various, in various equipment. That will be for another video. Magnetic cover. Okay, so that was huh, always easy to take off. So let me just take some protective tape off. So, oh, that looks. So, as I 
I said it has um, the four support up for up to four drives. And um, in the back has a nice big fan, which you want to look, it'll probably cool all the drives quite nicely. Then it has USB 3, power supply connector. Uh, it has a reset button, that's nice. And then it has two, two LAN ports. So in, and it was actually taking into account the feature set, the cheapest one I could find in stock, like in my local area. So I think I'm hoping it will, will actually be what we will need. Anyway, that was the unboxing part. Drive base. And then I will, um, yeah, if you like this, um, this video, consider subscribing. It is so difficult to get the face in. Gee, that's bad. I'm trying to remember to get the face in focus when I'm saying this. <laughs> yeah, if you like this video, consider subscribing. You know, hit the bell if you want to get notified of new new videos. The next one will be about um, installing the um, hard drives in the NAS and um, actually doing the setup procedure, getting it on the network. So, so um, yeah, see to it that you join. It'll be fun.